Hi, I'm Megan Massanelli. I'm the Engagement and Outreach Librarian for Archives and Special Collections. I coordinate the exhibit space in the third floor gallery here at Hillman Library. I'm happy to introduce Zach Broat, our University Archivist and co-curator of Be Strong and Of Good Courage, a celebration of women at Pitt. Thanks, Megan. Today I'd like to share some items from our exhibit, Be Strong and Of Good Courage, a celebration of women at Pitt. This exhibit includes artifacts and documents from the University Archives that looks into 125 years of history of women faculty and students at the University of Pittsburgh. The first women to graduate from the Western University of Pennsylvania, which is now the University of Pittsburgh, were Margaret and Stella Sine. The sisters entered the university in 1895 as sophomores and graduated in 1898 as co-valedictorians. In the exhibit, we have portraits of Maggie and Stella Stein, as well as some of their report cards as evidence of their academic excellence. The exhibit also includes an item that shows that they may have not been the first women to attend classes at the university. This letter from a faculty member to Chancellor Holland advocates for the inclusion of women in a chemistry course at the university. Another important first is Jean Hamilton Walls, who was the first African-American woman to graduate from the university in 1910 and earn a PhD in 1938. While women became more commonplace in the student body at the turn of the century, that doesn't necessarily mean that they were always an accepted part of the student body. The 1914 Al yearbook includes a satirical article that said that the women at the university were only here to find husbands. When the female students signed a petition and complained to the chancellor, he dismissed their, their complaints. But the Al editors eventually printed a retraction of the article. To foster camaraderie among the female students on campus, the Dean of Women, Theresa Amos, developed the longest tradition at the university, Lantern Night. The first Lantern Night was held in October 1921 and consisted of the freshman female students carrying paper lanterns while parading through the campus in their nightgowns to Heinz, to Heinz House, a gathering place for women students. While the lanterns and the ceremony have changed over time, Lantern Night has welcomed students to campus for over 100 years. In addition to female students, female faculty have also made important contributions to the university. Dean Amos not only developed Lantern Night, but also created the Women's Self-Governing Association and a Women's Honor Society as the Dean of Women from 1919 to 1941. Agnes Lynch Sterrett served as the first director of the University of Pittsburgh Press and also authored the first detailed history of the university called Through 150 Years. Her research for the book formed the foundation of what is known today as the University Archives. And Ruth Crawford Mitchell served as the first director of the Nationality Rooms program from 1926 to 1956 and oversaw the development and the construction of the first 15 nationality rooms in the Cathedral of Learning. Her papers, including her travel journal from Europe in 1936, is evidence of the amount of planning and preparation that went into each nationality room. Thank you for joining us. If you're interested in learning more about our exhibit spaces and about archives and special collections, please visit our website.